Hi everyone, this will be a very quick video to talk about additive synthesis and more particularly to answer a question I had from reddit user underscore sound who asks, is it possible to automate the additive frequency in operator to add harmonics in time worth playback? So what he's talking about is this screen in Ableton's operator. The question is, can you automate these? And the answer is, you can't automate these bars directly, but what you can do is automate the volume of each oscillator. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure each oscillator plays in parallel, so there is no modulation between the oscillators. And then you could add one frequency to each oscillator. In this way, you could automate the volume for each oscillator, and each oscillator will bring one frequency in the sound. So let's load an oscilloscope so we can see the waveform we're working with, and let's write a little melody. Okay, so now the idea is to automate this. Four harmonics is not a lot to play with, so what you can do is to see each of those oscillators like bundles of harmonics. So you can add several harmonics to each oscillator, so you would bring in and out several harmonics with each volume knob. Or if you want to play with more harmonics or more bundles of harmonics, what you can do is to group this operator in an instrument track. So to do that, you right click and do group or you do Ctrl G or Command G on a Mac. And there, this little icon on the left will show you all the chains in your instrument track. So there you can create all the chains with other operators. But I find two operators are a good number because with too many operators you would have a lot of knobs and that can become confusing pretty quickly. But with two operators you have only 8 volume knobs to play with, which is perfect to link to those macro knobs in the instrument track. So to do that you click on the map button until I want this knob to be controlled by this knob, this one by this one, this one by this one, etc. And having all that gathered in one instrument track with 8 macro knobs can make it a lot easier to deal with. And what I found very interesting with this is that it reminds me of the way we work with wavetables morphing a sound to another, except that with a wavetable you would have one knob to go from one waveform to another, and with this technique you would have a lot of different paths to go from A to B. Anyway, just a little trick I wanted to share with you today. So that's all for me today, I hope you found it useful or interesting, and I'll see you soon for our next video.